Zika, your single source since 1950 for quality, selection, reliability, and fast delivery. We want to congratulate you for buying a 25 or 40 plasma cutting machine. Thank you for choosing Zika. Before we start, take a few minutes to read and understand the operating and safety instructions of the device. Please wear your safety and protective equipment before starting to work. The kit contains a plasma cutting machine, an air regulator, thread connector and quick connector, cable and handle for plasma cutting, spare parts for the handle, and a handle roll guider an air hose, an earth connection cable and handle. Let's get to know the machine. There are two indicator lamps on the front panel of the machine. One lights up in case of overheating. The other turns on when the air pressure in the machine is too high or low. There is also an ammeter indicator lamp. At the bottom of the machine there are four connectors a connector for the earth connection handle, the handle's power connector, a positive connector for the handle, an air outlet connection for the handle. The on-off switch is found at the back of the machine. The air inlet from the regulator to the machine is also found there. We start by connecting the regulator to the machine. At the back of the machine, connect the supplied plate such that the screws will be found at the bottom of the plate. Tighten the screws well. Take a normal connector, wrap its thread with Teflon, and screw it to the correct inlet on the regulator where it says out and tighten with a suitable wrench. On the left side of the regulator where it says in, mount a quick connector. The connector will serve as a hose from the compressor. Take the pressure gauge, wrap its thread with Teflon, and screw it to the front opening of the regulator. Now insert the regulator from the bottom of the plate and tighten the fastener. Now connect one end of the air hose to the left regulator inlet and secure with a band. Connect the other end to the air inlet and secure with a band. In order to set the correct pressure on the regulator, pull the regulator switch outward and turn it until you obtain the desired pressure on the regulator. Please note, the normal operating pressure is in the range of 4 to 5 bar. If the air pressure exceeds 6 bar, the machine operation will be stopped. Now, connect the earth connection handle to the negative connector on the bottom panel. In order to connect the plasma handle, connect the handle connection to the positive connector and tighten the nut. Now insert the handle plug to a power outlet. Connect the handle connection to the air supply and tighten. Very important! Make sure to connect the earth connection handle to the positive connector. The welding handle is composed of several parts. The crown, contact tip, electrode, and height adjuster. Make sure that the parts are adequately tightened using a suitable wrench to ensure good electrical contact. Plasma machines of these models feature a pilot arc. During the cutting operation, you do not need to contact the material to form the arc. It is recommended to use the handle roll guider that is supplied with a kit. If you do not use the handle roll guider, make sure not to make contact between the contact tip and cutting surface to prevent causing damage to the contact tip. Please note. A defective accessory affects the quality of cutting, therefore if you notice a decrease in the cutting performance, check the condition of the accessories. Before checking or replacing any accessory, make sure to disconnect the machine from the power supply. Insert the plug into the power outlet. In order to start plasma cutting, set the on-off switch that is found at the back of the machine to on. 
Now you can start cutting. Make sure to follow the described steps to enjoy high quality and professional cutting performance from the 25 or 40 plasma cutting machine you have purchased. For more information and to see the rest of our products, please visit zika-welding.com.